Aquarius, this is your timeless soul reading. Now keep in mind it is a general read, so if it doesn't resonate, please check your moon, rising or Venus signs. And since it is timeless, whether it resonates now or a point in the future, just trust that this message is for you. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a rune. Okay, so this is the one we got. I'm just going to look into the book for the meaning. Okay, so this particular rune, <laughs> the connotations is intense creative activity. Uh, it can be union and chemistry with another, fruition and achieving certain goals. Sign. Astrology, it has its correlation with the black moon and the element of fire. Okay, and that's quite ironic because coming out, we did have the Ten of Earth and I was thinking to myself, I feel as though there's a new endeavor that you have the potential to find success with. And I do think it relates to creativity or something you're passionate about because we also have the card Abundance from Within. And I was feeling as though Aquarius is reaching a point where perhaps you're reconsidering your path and what holds meaning. I think for a lot of you, you're moving into a chapter that will be far more abundant than what you've experienced in the past. Now, for some of you, I was feeling the sense that you may be withdrawing energy from a former connection or emotional, emotional kind of relationships that perhaps aren't serving you anymore. And you're looking and searching within for what matters to you, for what you want, not only in partnership, but career and purpose. There's a sense of, I'm just hearing that you're reconsidering something, but I do think what you're moving towards in the future is going to be far more fruitful than what you've had in the past. Now, for some of you, I do see you moving towards a new creative idea or goal. It could be relative to your career or life purpose as well. But I do think Aquarius is reaching new heights in terms of abundance. And I do think this has been triggered by shifts in your dreams in regards to what you want, what you desire. I feel as though your mind may have shifted in regards to what truly makes you happy. And for a lot of you, I do think you've been receiving some sort of divine inspiration in regards to how to move forward, what direction to move in, because I do think there's a new path opening for you. And I feel for some of you, you may have almost needed to retreat or just take some time in solitude to really be able to hear spirit and hear the messages that are coming through. Because I do get the sense that you are going to be blessed with a really beautiful new beginning that is abundant, that is prosperous and is more rewarding internally than what you've had in the past. Whether for some of you, I feel like this could be in regards to a relationship or relationships in general. But for a lot of you, I definitely think it pertains to career path and creativity. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the messenger of fire, the ten of air. So I see a new passionate beginning starting out, having closed something out. I do think you've walked away and you can see this, this boy looking up at the I think it's a boy looking up at these feathers and I see that as divine guidance flowing down. I think for a lot of you, you've received some sort of sign and synchronicity in regards to what you want to do or how you want to move forward. And with the queen of fire, I think this is something that lights up your heart. For others of you, you may be leaving behind one relationship and heading towards union with a soulmate or partner that really is more in alignment with you, but also triggers this almost rebirth, this joy, this abundance, this upflow of passions within you. For others of you, I do feel this is a creative vision or some sort of career that you're moving towards. And with the eight of water, I, I was feeling you're leaving something behind emotionally. For some of you, it could have been walking away from a water sign, but I see this more as you're walking away from an old emotional state. You're moving into new waters in regards to what you desire and how you feel. Now, at the center of the spread, we do have the two of earth and it's opposed by the ten of earth. And I feel as though this particular pentacle represents where you were in the past. It could be a person, a job, 
some sort of path or vocation that I think you felt was right for you, but it's almost as though spirit is now bringing and introducing this pentacle and asking you to follow this path. And I think this is in opposition because it's almost like Aquarius is in the transition of leaving one reality behind to go towards and venture towards the new. So I feel as though this 10 of earth is to come as you follow and pick up this pentacle and as the past is fully released and cleared out, whether that's the past relationship or whatnot. I do feel for a lot of you, there's not only new love or new emotional experiences, it could be love in the form of beautiful friendships, um, supporters for your desires and your dreams. It doesn't have to be romantic, but I do feel as though here there's new creative potential. I do see Aquarius reaching new heights in regards to what you can manifest and also the fulfillment it triggers because I'm hearing as well the path you were on or the pentacle you had before, there was nothing innately wrong with it. It just wasn't, I'm hearing it was selling you short in regards to what, you, what you're capable of and the amount of fulfillment that the divine wants to bring in. And with temptation here, this is synonymous with the devil card in traditional tarot. And I feel as though this is what needs to be cut away to achieve fully this new beginning. For some of you, it could just be the fear of embracing this new pinnacle, of taking a risk on a creative idea or a new vocation and a new career. But there is this sense that there's some sort of entanglement. And I do feel it has emotional ties that needs to be fully released so this new beginning can get off the ground and you can have the victory and success you deserve. And I feel as though leaving it behind may be difficult because we have the sun in the past energy. And I'm hearing that whatever you had before, it, it did it kind of made you happy is what I'm hearing. It didn't take you to the heights you can feel and experience in regards to excitement for life and the joy of living and passion and desire but it also wasn't bad so there's a there's a certain level of comfort and joy with what you had which may almost be triggering a fear response in regards to should I take a step forward and move towards this for some of you it's almost that aid of water energy we saw down the bottom of the deck could be the trepidation of having to go through that emotional loss or disappointment in order to take a new path but I do think spirit is saying there's something that you need to shift your mind about. There's some sort of perception of who you can be and what you can have that needs to be healed or rectified in order for this vision fully to come to life or in order for you to move towards what spirit has in store. Because there is this sense that you're able to step into a new reality, but first your mind must be there. You must fully embody it in consciousness before it can come to fruition. And I think that's perhaps why spirit has been giving you signs and messages and synchronicities and kind of putting you in this dream state because it's wanting you to fully embody this energy first so that when it comes to fruition and when you manifest it, you're prepared and you're also able to receive everything that's coming for you with this 10 of earth. And with the call, we have judgment. And I feel as though you're being asked to call judgment on whatever this is. Anything that holds you back, because not only do we have the card of temptation, we also have the aid of air showing up. So it's a sense of restriction in regards to, I do feel it's on the level of mind in regards to what you feel you can have, what you think you deserve. There's something that needs to be, you need to call time on because it's not big enough to encompass who you are and who you're becoming. I think you're stepping into a larger field or a larger territory. You're stepping into a bigger vision. You're upgrading. For some of you, I'm hearing though, it's something completely different to what you've had before, whether it's leaving one relationship or type of partner and relationship behind to come into union with a really high level and close soulmate, or whether for a lot of you, I do feel it relates to career and your creativity your calling it's a sense of leaving behind perhaps a career path that has provided joy and happiness in the past or provides security to step into the unknown because when you do so this ten of earth is what's coming towards you there's a sense that you will be rewarded for your bravery and you're showing up nice and strong as a king of air so you're in your element and I see this as you having made a decision or shifting your mind space in some way that enables this new beginning and this transition to take place. 
and definitely see a really powerful energy around you Aquarius because I feel as though spirit is trying to strengthen you internally and give you these divine messages so that you can have the success that you're I'm hearing your own I feel as though Aquarius has done so much inner work in regards to your spirituality your vision your insights your self-awareness that it's almost as though it would lay wasted if you just stayed in this history there's so much for you to achieve and receive and the divine wants you to fully step into your power and i do see you doing that with the page of earth by stepping into your power you're granted a fresh beginning in physicality i do think it's a new creative idea new business new career path for others of you a new foundation that can attract in new love or just new supporters new friendships your soul tribe but i do think it's almost as though spirit is trying to fully aid you in releasing the past so that you have a clear and I'm hearing firm foundation to build this upon because whatever you're moving towards, I do think it's meant for you. It's something that's destined and it's something that will prove not only very fruitful for you in your journey, but fruitful for others. I think there is the opportunity here to almost spread abundance and spread joy to others in your environment. But first, in order to do that, I'm just hearing that everything needs to be in order first. There's a sense that there's certain physical realities that either need to be shed or reconciled with. There's perhaps emotions that are still attached to the past that need to be fully healed so that you can step into this new energy, this new abundance. And with the aid of air, again, it is echoing that message in regards to mental limitations a change or shift in your mind space that makes way and paves way for a new reality uh, embodying the consciousness of who you're about to become embodying the energy of what you want to manifest and create so it can flow into your universe with more ease because i do see and you can see i feel like this is your guardian angel and your spirit guides that once again are dropping signs and synchronicities I feel for Aquarius, you may be receiving a lot of guidance in your sleep or just in periods of relaxation. I just get the sense that spirit is really, it's almost like it just keeps nudging you and whispering in your ear in regards to what you can have and who you are becoming and also in regards to what's not serving you. I think Aquarius is about to step out of one reality to move into something bigger and more beautiful or just more fitting to who you truly are. I think you're being inspired as well with creative ideas that have the potential to generate a lot of abundance for you. I think they can become very fruitful. And I do think it's a gift from the divine for this inner work, for your growth. I think this abundance is almost recognition from spirit in regards to who you become. And we end here on patience, which is temperance. Now, for some of you, I think spirit is saying, be patient with yourself as you take these steps, as you go through this transition, because I see Aquarius between worlds. You're still, you're still holding the old pinnacle, but you're trying to reach for the new. And it's almost like spirit is saying you have to fully let go of that old pentacle, that old life, that old relationship, emotional reality to be able to fully step into the new. And there's a certain amount of balancing that needs to occur emotionally and internally, especially with the mind space in regards to what you believe you can receive before this new beginning can fully take flight or can be stabilized because I think spirit is wanting this to be very abundant and successful for you. And in order for that to happen, there's a need for you to not only be patient with yourself as you grow and evolve and take these risks and take these steps. For some of you as well, if this is relative to a creative idea or a new business, new career path, it's saying be patient as you learn the ropes or be patient as you master the skill. So for example, if you're wanting to you know, be a really successful writer, Spirit is saying like, allow yourself to stumble. Don't be so hard on yourself that you try to kind of fly before you can walk. There's this sense that you're, you are progressing, but there's a certain level of alchemy that needs to occur on the soul level before this new beginning can fully take flight. But when it does so, I think you're going to be amazed at not only the amount of abundance it generates, and I feel it's internal abundance as well, an abundance of joy and blessings and happiness, not only material prosperity, but obviously as we gain greater abundance internally, it does manifest and present itself in our physical world. 
So spirit is almost saying, just allow yourself to take those steps and give yourself time to fully heal and release the past so that when you step into this new beginning, it has not only a stable foundation, but the greatest chance of being successful for you. So that's all I have for you, Aquarius. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.